Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's currently a really windy day, but we're going out foraging nonetheless for anything we can find. I've got a fork with me, so we may dig up some razor clams, maybe some gaper clams. We'll just have to see how the day goes, so stay tuned. Hopefully we get something to cook. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! This plant right here, this is called sea beet. A bit battered up, this one. We've had some big ties lately, so no good for eating, but really easy to identify really waxy sort of leaves and you only find it along the commons we've got a cow coming down with us today so i'm just waiting around for him at the moment they're still really high the tide i've come here way too early a bit too keen hopefully we can find something cool today maybe even some uh, lobsters you just never know last time i was down this beach i found a brown crab which is quite rare so fingers crossed we can get another one but bigger come on That's right here guys, this is a razor clam. I've broken this one when I dug it up, but this is what we're gonna be going for later on. It's interesting that they're so high up the beach, but I'm gonna keep this for bait nonetheless. Anything I don't use will all become bait. The man has arrived. There's cow, all armed and ready for some foraging. Hopefully that tide goes down quick, because I've been waiting a while. <laughs> we got the lucky dead man here guys. We're just waiting for that tide to go down a little bit more. It looks dug out again. Look at those for dug out bits, Cal. <laughs> there very well could be a nice lobster under that. And then this rock over here, you can see, you see on the side of it, there's a big mound. There could be one under that as well. So what we do is just let the tide go down a bit, because if there's a lobster under that, it will dive out really quick and we'll never catch it. They are seriously aggressive. Ow, pinch me. <laughs> And get this lady crab out guys. I'm gonna have a nice little cook up with some lady crabs. There we go, check this one out. She's a beast. Is you ready to have my pinky? That's definitely in as well. Look at that, beauty. In the bucket she goes. Little Larry, not a keeper though. Hope there's one under there. <laughs> First lobster of the day. Always a telltale sign the uh, the burrows that they dig. Hey, would have done with a keeper, but nice to see him nonetheless. Let's get this one back. Hopefully, Cal can get one. There we go, guys. Back she goes. Nothing? That's surprising. Nah, they look at the burrow under it. Check him out, just chilling out down there. <laughs> He'll dig his way back under, be nice and safe then. Found another big hole here, guys. As you can see, all the sand been dug out of it. Just hopefully there's a lobster. <laughs> Glad you got waders on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a big antenna. Oh, that's it. Just keep wiggling, she'll come out. Always a telltale sign that dug out bottom. That's a decent one. That's it. Just keep prodding it. Oh, it's going. <laughs> How big is it? That's definitely a keeper. Go on, grab him. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Keep a lobster, lobster, mate. <laughs> Happy days. What a oh, giant. Sure. Cracking lobster. <laughs> That's definitely it. Hello, I'm a noob. It is a bit awkward because the string's tight on it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And my gauge is three mil straight, over. Isn't it? Yeah. So that's, that's easy. That's easy by about five mil, I'd say. Beauty, mate. Lovely job. One down. 
check the barnacles out on that guys that's a solid male lobster how you can tell is these two swimmerettes if they're hard and long like that it's a male also the tail's a lot more skinny and you've got bigger claws and then if they're like sort of fans like this but up here then it's a female beauty pretty little map of star of city in there see the purple with the little white stars really pretty there no luck in the other holes guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head off to the clam bed and uh, see if we can get some gaper clams some razor clams possible some other clams as well see what we can find all we do for these is you're just going along the sand poking around until you see a squirt of water and then you dig her up This spot is hammered a bit for diggers, so uh, they're few and far between. There we go. See that hole there? That could be a gaper clam. Let's dig it up. It was actually a nice razor. Love finding these things. They're absolutely delicious, brilliant bait. these things oh no big razor clown thought that could have been a gaper let's dig down again and have a look and as always fill your holes in that's a beauty that lovely sized razor clown Got the valve, big old razor clam. Got the valve of the gaper here, so it should be down here somewhere. There we go, found it. All you've got to do is just get your hand down there and dig your fingers either side of the clam until you get a good grip. And there you go. Look at that. Beautiful size clam that. Another gaper here. You can see when you dig, the valve's squirting out water. Yeah, get that dug out. Look at that. The size of the clam on that one. Big old clam. Be beauty. Find all sorts of worms doing this as well. These are the beauties we're after. Sometimes the razor clams can go too deep and then you just can't get them out. So you're better off just covering the hole back. Oh no, there we go. Covering the hole back and then uh, going for another one. But there you go. Managed to get that one just in time. <laughs> it's really enjoyable doing this. Quite hard work. Look at that. That's a gaper clam hole. Perfect. Two in one there. Hopefully we can get them both. Lovely big gaper, that one. Little baby tiny razor clown. We'll leave that one in there, we don't need him. out guys you can see which way they sit up in the sand and all I do is 
just dig myself around the sides of it like so and they always come out like that awesome clams they can be eaten they are nice there's just a lot of prep work i'd rather these for bait i'm getting bait for me and kel Another one. You've always got to be careful putting your hands in like this. Because if you feel really carefully, because they can cut the top of your fingers open. So the shell is very soft for that one. Biggest of the day right there. That is a beauty of a clam. That's like pure hand size. Lovely job. We're getting them, we're getting the uh, variety today. Check this one out. Almost gave up on this hole. And it turns out there's a mammoth. <laughs> that is biggest of the day by far. Look at the size of that. It's gonna be five inches long, that thing. What a beast. Got two more here. Sort of broken these. But hey, these go straight in the freezer for bait. Nothing goes to waste. Another beauty. Got enough clams now. Got a fair few in there. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna keep the razors to eat. Just gonna walk around on this clam bed here and just see if we can find any decent ones to eat. So I always like to come here just to see how many's around. I'm not gonna dig too much unless I see some little squirts of water. Hey. We shall see what we can find. Whoa, come on, guys. <laughs> They're going mental with those things. No lobsters. A nice little dugout burrow there. Uh, nothing but a lady crab and a conga. There's old nutcase. <laughs> they go absolutely mental. What's under there? A few crabs. Look at the size of that for a thick top shell. That is massive. We only really find these on this gravel bed. But look at that. Compared to a normal winkle, that's about three or four times the size. That is huge. And they're actually quite quite good eating these things if you can get enough of them another one over here you can see him moving over the gravel they're big old things as well crazy back you go my friends beautiful day eh you found much you got a beer <laughs> look at this our first guys you got a cow with a, an endangered species of export <laughs> it's been to the floating bar out there oh nice yeah. <laughs> Check this out guys, some clam, clams that uh, Cal's just found, You've got all your Venus clams there, but these are the babies, look at the size of that, that's the chunky monkeys, you can see where the uh, where the dog whelks have tried to drill their way through the clam, that's the Dossinia clam that, they're absolutely delicious. Come on, fatty. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Look at that one. That's a proper gaper clam right there. If you see some that have been dug out and we haven't put the sand back, that's not from us. There's other bait diggers on the beach. Just letting you have a letting you know that. Look at that. Beautiful gaper. Check this gaper clam out guys. He's trying to dig his way back into the sand there. Look how cool that is. <laughs> so all in all today guys we've got one decent lobster 
loads of really big gaper clams some giants got a few razor clams and we got a lady crab in there as well which what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this lady crab go no point eating one lady crab very much alive i've been keeping water in the bucket so no harm done i'll take it down to a pool and get rid of it it's your lucky day little lady crab back she goes that's the end of the day guys i'm gonna pop off and go for a cook if you want to check out cow's channel i'll leave the link in the description and now let's go eat some food got our clams here guys and what i'm gonna do i've got some fresh seawater so i'm gonna be putting these clams in it just to let them purge out a bit done really well on this forage some lovely sized clams and razor clams in general are absolutely delicious so that's all i'm gonna do put that in the fridge I'm going to leave it there till later on tonight. We'll have ourselves a nice cook up, and all the rest of this is going as guilt ed bait. Back in the kitchen now, guys. Got all of our delicious clams here. They've been purging for about four hours. And as you can see, looking absolutely delicious. You can see the muscle going back and forth there. Awesome little creatures. So, what we're going to do is get our pan up to heat, get some seasonings out. I'm going to cook these delicious little morsels. Just gonna season them up. Got some black pepper. Season them pretty well. Some sea salt. These will only be cooking for literally a couple of minutes. So just getting all the uh, seasonings over the shell there, then it will mix with the butter. Got a bit of ground ginger here. Can't beat a bit of the ginger. Then we're gonna finish them off, a little bit of parsley leaf, just before they've cooked. So we're pretty much ready now. Just wait for our butter and our oil to get up to heat. And we're ready to go. Got our butter up to heat here, guys. You see, I do good dose of butter in there. What we're going to do is grab all of our seasoned clams, get them in. And literally, as soon as they open, we're going to be taking them off the heat. so simple but this smells absolutely delicious they've literally been cooked as soon as they opened i gave them a few more seconds and took them straight off just so they're nice and soft otherwise these things will go really chewy if you leave them too long look at those bad boys they look absolutely amazing lovely fresh razor clams i should have shown you the grit that came out of them but i totally forgot look at that lovely white meat in these Mmm. Not chewy whatsoever. All right, you know if you've overcooked them, because they will literally be like a piece of rubber. There's no grit. Glad I did this today. Nice that cow came down as well. Got a lobster out of it, a few clams. It's actually a really enjoyable forage. And we even got some bait. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the size of the meat in that thing. That's mental. Oh. I always try and pull this bit off first because if there's any sand in the stomach area, I usually just give it a squeeze, you can take it out. That's not really sand, it's more like it's guts and filtration parts. You don't really want to eat that, so these little white bits are the best. Oh. Nice piece of bread, just for the butter and all the different flavours. Mm. Delicious. Oh yeah. Can't 
happy with that. I haven't pl had clams in a while. The tides lately, apart from these ones, they, it hasn't really gone low enough for me to get a lot of clams. So I thought I'd get one in on these tides. Oh. Changes it up a bit, that's for sure. I reckon a nice fresh clove of garlic in there would be even better. So stay tuned for the next episode guys, I won't leave you any longer, I'm going to finish this meal and we're back out tonight. So if you want any merch, the link's in the description. If you want to become a member, the link's in the description as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe. It's Smash Fishing baby. Woo! Yum.